Welcome to the Rescue Rundown. I'm Dave Morris alongside Abby Wolf and our host today, Jubilee. She will take over programming for the rest of this segment, I believe. Yes, Abby, good pro. to see you. Good to see you too. It is the end of October. Lots of Halloween stuff to talk about. The fact that you're at capacity at the <laughs> Central Oklahoma Humane Society. And unfortunately, a sobering yet hopefully good story to tell you about Honey, a German Shepherd. But first, back to Jubilee. What do we know about this little, this little girl, I assume? This little gal, despite what she's showing you she's now, the is a cuddle monster. Her name's Jubilee. She's two months old. She has this gorgeous muted Torby pattern, um, and she is just so can precious. You get, can you get that in a wallpaper? She has a yeah, what? <laughs> a muted torty shell, so okay. um, black and orange. Uh, but she is available for adoption today. She's got a sibling. Um, and she's there with Simba. You remember Simba from last week is still at the adoption center. How is this possible? I don't know because Simba's adorable just like her. And Simba came with extra thumbs. and That's right. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, he, he was a, a polydactyl um, is what they call that. It's a fancy word for too many fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Simba is still there. Um, Jubilee is there as well. That's what was right. Jubilee's sibling's name? Jubilee's sibling's name is Juniper. Okay. And there's one named Juno, I believe, too. Of course. Yeah, yeah. we got to follow themes around here. <laughs> uh, we can get to the adoption stuff later, but those are available at 7500 Northwestern, okhumane.org for more information. And Cass just looking at me. There we go. We're calm now. Does she travel well? Does she do well in the car? You know, she does not appreciate a kennel, I learned. <laughs> uh, but she does love to be just like this, held all the time. So um, she'll get out of that in her older years. But for now, she really loves the snuggles. Very good. Um, when we last met, last uh, Wednesday is typically when we tape this, and I think we taped on Wednesday last week as well. Mm -hmm. We're talking with Simba, and then you post on Facebook later that day, I believe, about a German Shepherd named Honey. That's right. Yeah, Honey um, is very special to our staff. Uh, Honey was found hit by a car and abandoned. Um, we have a hard time with those kinds of stories because I don't know how, or most of us don't know how, somebody could leave an abandoned dog, especially after they hit it with a car. Uh, but this happened. And uh, Honey was found by Good Samaritan laying down, not able to walk. Um, in the not driveway, sure. right? In the driveway, that's right. This Good Samaritan brought Honey to Animal Welfare, who called us and said, help us with this dog, please. Um, typically, dogs like Honey, um, dogs like a lot of the dogs that you've met along the way, Spartan and many others, would not survive in a shelter. There's Honey when she came into the shelter. We were seeing what exactly was wrong with her. Um, but these dogs no normally would be euthanized in our shelter because of re lack of resources, but then also just to be kind to the dog sometimes, um, they're forced to put dogs down. So. Um, Honey. Clearly, yeah, clearly Honey's struggling to walk there. That's right. Perhaps some hip problems. Yeah, so we knew that from the way she was walking that she had probably been hit by a car, but we needed to talk to doctors first. Um, so we took her to two different vets, including a surgeon, who all um, say that her hips are in pretty bad shape. Um, one, of, one of them is severely dislocated, but then also fractured in so many places that we're unable to operate at this point in time. We're waiting. Uh, for some of those fractures to heal so that we can actually proceed with her surgery. In the meantime, she is in a wonderful foster home, actually a staff member's home, um, taking good care of her, and we're definitely on pain management and keeping her comfortable and not moving. Um, <laughs> here she is in my office making her way to her foster home, um, and so she walks with assistance to go potty um, and, and basically stays in her crate until she's ready for um, that surgery. So tell us, what are we what have we learned about Honey? What's the disposition? Oh my goodness, I, I can't say you enough. Sort of see some attitude right yeah, there. Yeah, I cannot see enough good things about Honey's attitude. She is the most loving, kind, gentle dog. Um, she's a great, great dog. And so everybody is just falling head over heels in love with her at, at the Central Oklahoma Humane Society, including her foster. And if you know anything about fostering with us, you know that fosters get first dibs on adoption. So we're kind of like, hey. <laughs> you, like, you like honey, right? You guys, yeah. you guys connect. This is working out well, yeah. right? So we're going to wait to see what, um, how her journey plays out and see how she heals. Um, and then she'll be ready for that adoption day. All right. So that her journey, though, to recap that is she's in the healing phase, hopefully get things 
solidified so yeah. that surgery can take place Definitely. and then hopefully literally get back on her feet. Probably Pause. some physical therapy after the surgery. Um, she's probably dealing with quite a bit of nerve damage um, based on what we've seen so far. So we want to make sure that she is absolutely ready for a new home and ready for a new chapter in her life because I know she's definitely needing one. Well, let's talk about some needs and the mechanisms. We're here with Abby Wolf, the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Animal welfare, welfare in this case, called you guys why? What's the mechanism in play there? So we assist animal welfare with um, capacity issues. So most of the time, animals are euthanized in shelters because the shelter is out of space and resources to take care of those animals. We exist to alleviate that burden a little bit from them, us and other rescues as well. They're doing the best they can to keep up with everything, and so we want to be there waiting to take as many adoptable animals out of the shelter as possible to save them from any kind of certain fate and then take them into our adoption program. Sometimes that means that they're injured, they've been hit by a car, um, they have different illnesses, and that's what our Rita's Angel Fund actually does to help. Well played right there, by the way. <laughs> Got a cat right here. All right. This isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> But let's talk about the Rita's Angel Fund. That is crucial and very much needed in a situation like this. However, honey comes in and funds are diverted. That means there's other funds needed. Yes. So you know how important the Rita's Angel Fund is to me. I know we talk about it all the time. Uh, Rita's Angel Fund has several animals. And honey right now is getting so much uh, publicity and great, great feedback from the, the public just rallying around her. But we have about 10 other animals on the Rita's Angel Fund right now who need those funds. And so big cases like this, um, like Honey, like Spartan, like the, the dogs and cats that really need that extra care and surgeries and so on, um, they really can drain our Rita's Angel Fund and kind of leave those other animals um, with, with little resources to be helped. And so um, we definitely need help with the surgery for Honey, um, but also the other animals who have skin disorders or broken bones as well. Uh, we have, I believe, an ACL tear on, on the agenda as well. So any help is appreciated for the Rita's Angel Fund. And we had the, the website up there a second ago, people can assist. Yes, so if you wanna help, it's okhumane.org slash Rita's. It's, it's a really simple way and you can give as much as you, as much as you can. We have gifts coming in from $5 to you know, more and we appreciate every single dollar because it goes a long way to helping animals. All right, very good. That's the Rita's Angels Fund. Uh, Dave Morris here in the Oklahoma Video Studios, the Rescue Rundown, chatting with Abby Wolf, as we do every week for the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. And all month long, we've been talking about the fact you have a ton of cats. <laughs> I feel like a broken record at this point. Uh, we have tons of cats. Uh, we are full, at, actually, at capacity for cats and kittens in our adoption center right now. Um, obviously, Jubilee is one of those, uh, but we have also adult cats. I was joking when I was walking in here, we have this one cat that I am in love with, and if somebody doesn't adopt her by Friday, I'm doing it, because uh -oh. she is awesome. Add to the family. Yeah, well, I don't know, my husband's gone right now. <laughs> he's on a trip, so it might be so a great opportunity. So he won't be surprised. He comes back, he's like, Abby, of course. Of, of course, course, of course, now did. there's yeah. a cat. Yeah. Forgiveness, it's better than asking permission for sure. But um, yeah, we have these wonderful cats with awesome personalities who are looking for homes and we're coming up on the holidays and it's a really great time to adopt and bring somebody into your family, especially by saving a life. So if you're interested, it's okhumane.org slash adopt slash cats. <laughs> there she <Yeah>. is. <laughs> Way to go Paige. <laughs> She's all over it. Yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, we're leading into the holiday weekend. It's coming up on Monday, and you have a couple of Halloween events between now and then. Oh my goodness, yes. We're so excited about this. Who doesn't love dressing up pets and parading them around and winning prizes? Well, I don't know. Does the cat like this? I don't know if this cat it's would more appreciate that. It's a dog that. holiday. Yeah, it's kind of a dog holiday. I did have somebody say that they were bringing their cat on a leash. Hey, more mm. power to you. But it seems <laughs> kind of like a bad idea. Exactly. So on Thursday, uh, we're going to be at Bark, the Bark Happy, which is an app. Their event, uh, Halloween Potty, it's very, um, very, nice. very catchy. We're going to be out there at uh, Fat Dog Cafe, which is a new spot in town, pet, pet friendly. It's mm -hmm. going to be a good time. Um, and then we're going to be out at Frontier City for their costume parade. Um, and that's going to be on Saturday. So we're looking forward to these two events. They both benefit our mission, and it's going to be a good time. Awesome. Good events coming up. You can take your dog too, or just show up and look at other people's animals dressed up in festive, right. festive outfits. Everybody's welcome. Jubilee, good to meet you. Thanks so much for stopping in. 
sharing your story? We've sure calmed down now. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready for her next nap. Yeah, definitely. Abby, good stuff as always. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for Best having us. Best of luck to Honey moving yes, forward. Yes, yeah. Thank All you. Right. More Rescue Rundown on NewsOK.com and OKHumane.org.